Hey guys, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're working on Cuisinart. This is the Cuisinart mixer. And if you uh, find uh, your web contact for Cuisinart, um, he'll first ask you if it's under warranty. If it's not under warranty, then you're basically calling guys like me to fix it. So, um, when I initially contacted Cuisinart, they said, well, sorry, that's uh, something we don't repair. We don't normally repair the mixers. They do repair other things, but not the mixers. And so on this particular mixer, what happens is this one here was like it, it would it would intermittently read out, but it would never turn on. And basically what it is, you'll see there's a small capacitor in here on this board. Um, basically, this capacitor, it's... Uh, it's an orange, it's an orange capacitor that's glued onto the board. And so basically you have to find another capacitor and put that on. You can see it, it's back in there, that orange capacitor right there in the back. And so basically, that this is how you access that board. You have to come in through this crack here. You'll have to disconnect the the spring stay and then you'll have to take the plastic cover off of the the board here and then you can get to the board they use the small torx screws to attach the board and they use the larger torx screws to attach the uh, the arm spring stay and so if you replace that capacitor um, this that's the most common thing to go wrong with these and let's see that capacitor cost me two dollars and sixteen cents and hopefully that will solve the problem uh, they had actually a smaller capacitor that would work and since this is not a 220 volt setup then we we don't have to get a 220 volt capacitor so this is the capacitor right here we pulled out it was completely dead and so basically you can see it's a 225k 400 volt we didn't actually need a 400 volt because we're running uh, 110 volts on this one so if you see this little capacitor all glued in the back of that board there and you have a problem with your machine not coming on or the, the readout fading then replace that capacitor and that should bring that back to life and thanks for watching if you need any help you can contact me at applianceworks at yahoo.com and i give phone advice for a fee 707-443-8347 pacific time nine to five